Moving right along. Um, Charlie, is this an appropriate uh, use of the term nunk pro tunk in this next one? Because the school resource officer has been there? Um, well, the, the contract, which has basically been the same template contract for the last couple of years, right. um, was signed off on last week because the school had a board meeting, a school right. board meeting, and they wanted to see that in good faith that, uh, that we were signing it. Uh, now, because there was no changes, because you looked it over, correct, and it is... It's basically the same except for the dates, the same kind. Right. So uh, we felt as though it wasn't worth holding a special board meeting to basically do kind of a housekeeping item. So we're doing the resolution, uh, proposed resolution for the town supervisor to sign that contract for school resource officer uh, tonight. Um, and we will write into the contract, I guess, the non pro -tunk. Well, you, you can say non pro -tunk, retroactive, yes, right. yeah, both. Right. So, any questions from the board members or anybody about that? My question is, is, is this for both school resource officers? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I, I think we might want to explain to those who haven't heard it before that the school resource officers work within the school district during the school year. But when school is no longer in when school is no longer in session, Councilman Dean's telling me I have to speak louder. Sorry. When school is not in session, they are out doing road patrol. Correct. Right. <clears throat> now I will say, and I don't want to belabor the point here, is that uh, uh, Superintendent Amina I had asked, you know, can we can we just kick this can down the road until we have a regular board meeting on July 16th and we can get it over to you the 17th and he said the next time their meeting as a school board is not until early or mid-August so that's where I said can we, yes. can we do this and uh, you know, like I said um, <laughs> not for anything uh, a lot of contracts that we talk about doing resolutions on are the town spending the taxpayers money and uh, there is a reason why you will uh, cross your T's and dot your I's and try to do things in a proper sequential manner. You always try to do that. This is one where actually the town is getting money from the school district. Uh, it's, it's revenue, if you want to call it, coming to us uh, as a town um, for having our police officers uh, be over there. It's covering the cost and the benefits of two of our officers for approximately nine months. Right. And the other, the other three months that they're not working at the school, they're out on road patrol, uh, traffic, traffic right. control. Yeah. Last during during the fun. COVID, they, have they been doing road patrol? They're not at the school, I would take it, since the schools were shut down, right? Well, they've been on road patrol. I, I'm not sure if they were at the school or not. I, from what I understand, they they been have been on, on the school patrol payroll. just recently. They have. <laughs> Well, I love it. Uh, look, um, I, uh, the best way I can explain this, I guess, is that the you know the town and the town board. You know, we when we had to approach COVID in the way we had to approach COVID and protect our tax basis, the real estate taxes that the town citizens were giving paying to the town as we looked at different expenses such as payroll to our staff and I think with our staff we really tried to uh, set a bar that uh, if you're not working you're not getting paid we were able to use that philosophy to get a lot of our people working from their house and get productivity now this board is responsible for the town taxes not the school board and the school taxes now the contract with the school is that we were getting, the town was getting this money for these resource officers, okay? I have not really talked to the school or the school board about their decision making when COVID all of a sudden sent all the kids home 
from school and also the teachers. That's not my business. I don't know if the teachers were doing uh, uh, remote classes and they were maybe working harder than when they're in the school room. I do know they were getting paid. Right. That's from the school budget. Right. The school budget paid for our resource officers. Okay. Th that's that's all I, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that, we're that, in the contract. You know, our contract been, doesn't say anything about at the school's disposal. Pardon? That's correct. They would have been at the school's disposal. That's right. Right. Thank you. I just didn't know if Thank anybody you. knew if they were over there. I, I, I would suggest, I, I, I do know they were doing, re teachers were doing remote classes. Children were, were distance learning. Mm -hmm. um, given the scope of the school resource officers, I'm sure they were at the school's disposal, and they don't necessarily have to be in the building to right. do what they do with students and different issues that come up. So I would, I would suspect that they were still having contact with some students who may have need for a school resource officer. Okay. It's a win-win for both. No, I was just an innocent question. Yep. And following that, <laughs> I will move that the town supervisor <laughs> signed a contract for the school resource officer. Yep. Second. Uh, Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye.